Alright, what's going on everybody? Uh, here we are, we're back in Sim Raceway. I know I haven't done any Sim Raceway stuff in a while. Um, but we are going to run the MP4, the 2012 MP4 27 um, Indy car here uh, on the uh, the new Edmonton Indy uh, car GP circuit uh, that they have inside of Sim Raceway. It's actually been a while since I've played Sim Raceway uh, and since I've been getting the racing feel again and I've been enjoying a set of Corsa uh, I wanted to hop back into Sim Raceway as well. This is, to me, probably the best free-to-play um, simulation racing game that's out there. I've actually been playing it since 2012. Um, this will be the first time that I've had uh, a chance to really get onto the Edmonton track. I haven't really played this track before, so it's not going to be the best of uh, gameplay footage. And I consider myself more of an average to decent uh, racer, but I enjoy this. and. Uh, it's great for when you're relieving stress, and, and I'm happy to see um, there's been some significant changes um, since I last played. I know it's uh, it's actually been a it's only been a couple months I think since I last played, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be getting back into this uh, as well um, as a set of Corsa because uh, I think both games are great. You know, one being the uh, paid uh, development game uh, on Steam, the early access game right now, but uh, I think they've done a great job on that. And Sim Raceway, I've got nothing bad to say. I've never had anything bad to say about this game. Uh, they are constantly making improvements. Um, with all the contests and events that they run daily, uh, weekly, monthly, uh, your chances to win money in events, uh, participate uh, in their, their big events and everything, and, and all the cars and tracks that they have available uh this game is great it is definitely a free to play um I'll let that be known that any car that is available of their list uh gosh i think they have close to 100 cars or around 100 cars or something like that any car that's available in the game is available both as cash if you want to play cash or as in-game credits um and the way they work is their price that is for cash is the price that it is for credits. So uh, if you're not familiar with it, so let's say you've got a car in game that is 25 uh, cents in game. Uh, as far as cash is concerned, it's going to cost you 250 credits. So they just add like a, uh, they multiply by 10 more or less. Um, multiply by 10, yeah, yeah, uh, or 100, or 10, or whatever. Anyway, uh, trying to concentrate on the road and talk to you at the same time. Anyway, so if it's 25 cents for a car, it's going to cost you 250 credits. You know, if it's uh, if it's uh, $2.50, it's going to cost you uh, 2,500 credits. Uh, if it's, uh, you know, it, it, and so forth and so on. If it's a, if it's a $20 car, it's going to cost you 20,000 credits uh, um, to get it. But it is achievable in this game. If you're racing enough, you're going to um, make all the points that you need to be able to get a lot of these cars. And now I have a, I have amassed over two years a list of, I think, 76 cars. I'm going to have a listing, an updated listing on my forums of all the cars I have. Uh, and similar to a set of Corsa, I want to go through this. If you guys have see a car on my list um, that you want to have me test drive, I will gladly pull it out and put it in one of the tracks. They have a lot of tracks in this game. Um, and since I haven't played in a while, it's going to give you some. Uh, I'll be able, I'll be able to really enjoy it, but um, it'll present a, a big challenge for me. Some cars I was pretty bad at, and some cars I was pretty good at. Um, but so, I think if you're looking to do some racing and you want a good free-to-play simulation, I think this is the one for you. And I know people are going to probably leave comments below about iRacing. Guys, iRacing is not a free-to-play. iRacing, you've got to pay to play. It's always been a pay to play. Um, so you can't compare it in that aspect. Um, iRacing has obviously gotten better throughout the years uh, in terms of what they do. I mean, they used to be the big NASCAR uh, game, and it is still the big NASCAR simulator, uh, to be honest. But there's a couple, you know, they've branched out of it. But I think. I have no interest in iRacing, um, one, because of the fact that I'd have to pay uh, a monthly fee, and uh, two, because Sim Raceway's out there. 
Uh, you know, the game is there. Uh, they do pretty much everything. You can you can do competitions, you can race, you can win. Uh, I think early, or, well not early, but when I was back in 2012, I entered a few events and I try to enter the events, you know, and bring up my skill quant, which uh, is actually down, but that's mostly because they've changed the way they do skill quants and calculations. And I haven't played in a long time. I, uh, I will improve and get better. Um, but, uh, yeah, I won, I won a race back then. And I want some money from it, and uh, went ahead and used it, obviously, to go right back in and get some more cars. But I've amassed 76 cars. I would say of that 76 uh, cars, at least half of those cars, maybe 60% of those cars, I've gotten in-game cash. The other 40% I've done um, with actual cash. And the best way to do it if you're going to use cash is to go for Test Drive Tuesdays. When they offer a car at 50% uh, price reduction, but it's actually free to test drive. So you're able on Tuesdays to test drive the cars, um, whatever car they release uh, for you to test drive. And you can do it all day long if you wanted to. And then you can determine at the end and say, hey, I want it. No, I don't want it. Um, and if you want it and you, you want to spend the cash, the best way to spend the cash is on test drive Tuesday because you're getting a car at 50% off. And or first 24 hours of a release of a new car um, then the car will be discounted as well uh, on that first 24 hours of the release and when they do new releases they tend to have them available all weekend long um, for you to race around it and enjoy and um, we'll get into that one of the main reasons I hopped back into here um, was because of the new Subaru Impreza WRX STI um, S206 Nerva Ring Edition that they just released uh, on Friday the 17th. Um, but I wanted to get in with this uh, this this MP427 and try out on this tracks and kind of get adjusted to the game again a little bit. So uh, that's where I started. I've got some recording of the Subaru that I did the first first few laps I did with the Subaru, so you can see that I was I will admit I was not the best. But it is a fun car, good at drifting, and there's a lot to it. So I will definitely be playing with that car more and bring out more footage on that one. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to try this one out, and uh, I definitely love this car. This is one of my most used cars, I would say. Um, I've got a few that are even much higher, but yeah. So, um, and then I also have some footage coming out when I was on the uh, Giza off-road course, the Egypt course. Uh, I took the uh, Evo 8 out for the first time. Picked up the Evo 8 with in-game cash and I took it out over there. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That'll come out as well. Um, it's going to vary between my main channel and my NetIsles Gaming channel. I have gotten permission, direct permission from the Sim Raceway team. Um, written permission to post and use whatever uh, content that I want to uh, in terms of this game uh, on my channel. So uh, I want to thank those guys for allowing me to do that and providing that written con uh, uh, <clears throat> that written agreement for me um, so yeah guys I, I would say if you wanna do some racing you know you can play this uh, if you got a controller it's playable with a controller if you got a steering wheel it's definitely playable with a steering wheel I use the SRWS1 uh, which is the Sim Raceway steering wheel by Steel Series um, because that's what I can afford, and that's uh, the type of space that I have in my house. But uh, keyboard, you can do it with keyboard. I know a couple people that do it with keyboard. But uh, anyway, um, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you later. Please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>